Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back to another Logging from Scratch episode. Uh, so, last time we were playing, we were doing a little bit of yarder action over on that end, but I figured we'd come up and uh, finish loading up our truck and trailer here. Still got a little bit of wood to be playing around with, so it's going to be uh, interesting. I had filled up quite a bit. I've actually changed this grapple again a few times and the trailer itself. So I'm just going to really top this bad boy off here before we before we give up entirely on this load. And then we were going to, um, I think what I was going to do is detach, or my plan was to detach the front end and then go pick up those little guys over there. Or de <laughs> detach the front end. Detach the back end, because I can speak English. And then go pick up those other little uh, sticks over there and then come back and grab our trailer and head back down. There we go. Lock that up. So let's, I'm just going to go pull this kind of over this way a little bit. And we're going to lock this guy here. Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to go whip over there. Whip over back to our other stiff. And we should be able to fit those ones on the front. I've actually played with this uh, truck and trailer a little bit since the last time we were using it. Uh, moved the bunks around a little bit, moved everything around a bit. Just kind of made it a little more accessible. Me and Chad have been uh, doing some recordings and stuff on the side, and we found that it was definitely an issue trying to load that bugger, so we figured, hey, let's do something different with it. I'm just going to go park this guy on the edge of the cliff here. It's actually going to be some, uh, some interesting recording and footage and stuff coming up soon. I'm doing uh, some changes to kind of, you know, just be different. But uh, I'm not going to spoil anything, so it might be, might be pretty cool. I don't think it might be. I think it is definitely going to be very cool. But we're going to try, uh, try some new techniques and some new stuff. I've also got a new program for um, editing my footage as well called Filmora, which I'm sure lots of people use the free version of. But I, man, I, I've been using Adobe Premiere for so long, but I'm so tired of paying for a subscription for it. I just... I don't know. I think it's not a very good deal, in my opinion. So I saw this Filmora program that Chad was using, and he said, hey, give it a shot. And I was like, all right, I'll try it. I'm not really one to change very often. I like staying with stuff I know that works. Change usually involves, you know, breaking in new stuff, and I didn't want to do it. But I gave it a shot to be different, and I fell in love with it. I really like the program. It's very smooth. It's almost identical to Premiere the way that they built it. Like, going into the program, I didn't have to learn anything to me. It just all came naturally because... It's so, it's built so similar to uh, Premiere that it was just simple. But the thing I like about it is it actually renders videos faster when I'm editing. Like in Premiere, I find myself always, um, like it's always buffering or loading and I can't edit. And it's like, God, I hate this thing. Um, and it doesn't do that in Filmora. I even tested it with a 50 gigabyte file, like a whole 50 gigabyte recording that I had. And it still is able to render it while I'm editing without doing proxies. I couldn't believe it. I was like, holy God, this, this program is amazing. So I went and bought a copy. And unlike stupid Adobe with their subscription thing that I hate so much, where you have to pay, you know, 30 to $50 a month for a subscription, this one you only pay, what was it, 60 bucks or $80 Canadian, $60 American, um, for a one-time unlimited use Thing. like that's it you just pay the 60 bucks or 70 bucks one shot one kill don't ever have to do it again that was very attractive for me especially as somebody who edits all the time like constantly to have a program I don't have to pay for monthly that you know cuts into my budget so it's really fantastic to have that and so far I haven't had one video yet that it hasn't been able to handle so I'm pretty impressed oops I know how to load a truck um, but yeah, no, and uh, it's going to be fun playing with some 4K stuff that I got coming up for uh, my buddy's little stuff that he's got there. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. These logs. I was just talking to Chad the other night about how ridiculous these logs are sometimes. They just do things that are just unnatural. Like, what was that? What the heck was that, man? You can't just jump out of the grapple like that. Oh my god. How does that even... How? Why? Maybe it's friction scale. Maybe I need to... I might do that. I might just go crank up the friction scale on this. I'm going to play with that. I should make a note. 
I'm gonna make a note. I'm gonna make a note right now. While we're recording, we're gonna make a note. We're gonna call it uh, check friction scale on all grapple. Oops, gapples. Grapples uh, to eliminate. Eliminate slide. There we go. I don't know if I've ever told you guys, but I always use. Oh, my mouse is there. Um, I always use folders on my desktop. It's kind of like a mental organization thing for me as notes. Because then if I'm done with it, I can just delete the whole folder and it's just like psychologically really freeing for me. Because it means I've just. I've got that task completed and I don't have to think about it anymore and it's deleted from life. Let's see if we can get some more up here. Bloop. I think we can get one more little grapple in there. One little grapple. Not a big grapple, but a little grapple. Oh, jeez. Come on. Play nice, son. Don't go to the light. There we go. So yeah, maybe by increasing the friction scale. Oh my god, I'm getting close to this pile. Um, by increasing the friction scale, it might stop it from sliding, but it might cause other issues. So you just never know, man. You got to practice and play, and all the collisions have their own minds of their own. So and let's lock it like that. Screw it. Looks good to me. Oh, oh my god. It's all finicky. See, now we have enough room we can turn this bugger around, which is nice. Let's go hook on to the other one. Oh, I just realized I closed this. There we go. It's like, well, at least it didn't stop recording. I'm like, have I just been talking to myself for the past five minutes? <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. All right, let's go through here. So I'm trying to record in like a much more extreme quality. So I don't know how, if it's going to show or not. YouTube kind of has its own compression and stuff that it does. So sometimes it's really hard to to see the difference. Wow, those logs are kind of longer, hey? Eh? Um, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping with these, because I have to edit these videos individually now, I think. I think I do. Maybe I won't. Oh, God, it's heavy. Oh, you can do it. Pull with the legs. There you go. Lift with your legs, not with your back, bro. You can do it. So anyway, yeah. Uh, new quality. Video recording quality, which is always fun. And hopefully some edits. Well, I got some new stuff coming. Uh, and then I'll have to be editing every video anyway. I kind of liked it where I didn't have to edit the videos. They're more raw. I can just, like, do this little recording here. And then, you know, bail out. And then just upload it and go. It makes these episodes really fast and painless. If I have to go back and edit them all, sometimes it takes a little bit of time, and time isn't always on my side, so I'm finding. Yet, somehow, I, I'm able to get a video out every day, so it's a lot of work. <laughs> Having a video every single day and being able to publish them and make thumbnails and do do and have a schedule. Oh, my God. It's a, it's a part-time, if not a full-time job for somebody. But as long as you guys are going to keep watching, I'll keep making them. That's how it's going to be. If tomorrow y'all turned around and said, I'm done, then I wouldn't make them anymore. Or maybe I wouldn't. Maybe I'd just be that crazy guy with a thousand cats in his house and be like, I must keep making videos and no one's watching them, but I must make them. That'd be ideal. Please, Lord, never let me be that guy. That would be fantastic if we could just go ahead and not be that guy. All right, let's test this guy out. We did a little bit of modifications to this. I still have to play with the suspension a bit because she's... A Todd Wiggly, but um, I think it'll be quite a bit better than it was. G and G. And we're just gonna take this and we're gonna oop, let's retract, retract and fold. R and F it. Okay, so at least it's pretty uniform. I mean, it's sitting there pretty all right. Back one's a little iffy, but not so bad. So let's go like this. The other cool thing is I don't have to take screenshots anymore because now um, when I'm doing thumbnails, I can literally just go back on this video and grab uh, a picture from it when I'm editing it, which is pretty darn cool. Because the quality is so high, I don't need to uh, 
I don't need to actually take the picture in game because it's just as good as if I grab it from the video file itself. Which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. And then I can actually pick direct moments from here that were like, oh yeah, that was a hot moment. That was a good picture. There we go. I think you guys are going to have fun with this thing. I know I always like play with these mods for like a f several, several weeks before they actually come out, but I got to test it all. And this is the best place to really test it here. And then I play with Chad and we test stuff together. And it's like, you just get a real good, real good vibe from it by testing it before I release it. And if I find if it's like, if I find a uh, machine that I'm working on is too difficult to, um, to operate myself, like if I'm having troubles with it, then I know it's going to be hard for the average person to use. So the more and more I use them, whether it's single player or anywhere else, then the more, oops, um, the more I know it'll be usable by like, you know, a more universal amount of people. Oh, right. Hey, we're supposed to do a topic of the day. That's my thing now. Topic of the day. Well, you know what? Since we were on the subject already, film programs. First of all, are you a YouTuber? Second of all, what program do you use to mix your stuff? And why do you like that program? I mean, I don't have a whole lot of experience with a lot of different programs. I feel like any kind of editor ever I can just get into anyway and just learn. Because I feel like I've just I've worked so many programs now that I just don't really care. It's like, whatever, I'll figure it out. Um, Adobe Premiere has been the longest standing one that I've used because it's been very professional. But like I said, since they did the whole subscription thing, I'm not a fan of subscription fees. I don't want to pay $50 or 40 to $50 a month for something when back in the day you used to be able to pay like, you know, 200 and have it forever. I still have my very first version of Adobe uh, Audition and Adobe Photoshop that I bought from the CS, I think it was the very first CS series where you could still buy them before they went subscription. So I still use the Photoshop version that I purchased, but um, yeah, I mean, I upgrade. I totally pirated a couple of copies to see how the new ones were, to see if it was like, is this worth upgrading? And then some of them were, I was like, oh, okay. So I got the subscription thing and I did that for a bit, but God, it's expensive to have their, their suite, their whole pack, you know, like, to get the sweet pack of them or whatever it's called. It's a lot of money you're spending and it's just like, oh man, it's already expensive doing stuff. I shouldn't have to pay money out to do things that I want to do, so. But anyway, with that Filmora program, I bought that and I'm just having a blast with it. It's really user-friendly and it's fun and it's fast and it's, I don't know, I'm really impressed with it. I just hope it doesn't turn to Adobe, Adobe Audition where they do lots of, or I, see, I keep saying Adobe Audition, Adobe Premiere. Um, if they turn into that, like, over-processed, over-crazy, like, I don't know, it's starting to be, like, laggy now compared to what it used to be. It used to be so fast, but they're just adding too many features that aren't necessary, and it just bogs it down. I mean, maybe it's necessary for some people, depending on what your what your gig is, but for me, it was just useless. So I think Filmora is going to rock it. What else have I used? I've used, like, some stupid Windows video editor a long time ago. That was fun. Um... Yeah, they, I just, just like cheap cut and paste ones. My buddy uses Sony Vegas. Um, he says that one's really incredibly good. I've never, I have no experience with it. I've never even seen it. And I have no idea what it looks like, but he says it's really excellent. So that's a good one. But yeah, if you're a, if you're a video guy and you're doing editing, I'm more than curious. Leave it in the comments. What do you what do you use? What's your what's your thing? And why do you like it? I was like. It's fun in the comments when you guys say, like, oh, this, but I want to know why. I like a description. I always, I try to respond to comments that have a good description on them. If it's somebody just saying, blah, then I'll generally just give you guys a like and that'll be it. But if you give me, like, a detailed explanation and something fun to, like, reference, I'll probably respond to it. I say probably because sometimes I get a lot of comments and I miss stuff, but, um, I try. Oh, $77,034. 77,000. That's not bad for that load. That's quite a bit. That's quite a bit for... I didn't think it was really that much wood. We're just going to leave this standing. Freestanding. It's not like we're going any under any bridges or anything. Let's bring this guy back up to the... Uh, up to the landing there. And then... God, what are we going to do? we got to keep yarding. we got to build that road. 
I kind of want to change it up a little bit. Cause I've been yarding for a few episodes. Maybe we'll maybe we'll wait till we get to a flat spot. God forbid there is one. I'm uh I'm pro. I don't know how many episodes I'm gonna do on this map. I haven't decided yet. I think we'll finish our road, bring it back down to where we want, like the landing kind of area there, and uh, yeah, I think that's probably about as far as as far as I'll go. I think. And then maybe switch over to Port Murray because I got lots of plans for Port Murray. Port Murray. And then I've slowly, very slowly started another map, but <clears throat> you guys won't be seeing that for a while. Chad's going to have some interesting stuff coming out here, too, so. If you guys haven't looked at Chad's stuff, he's, he's Mithras Catalyst. Mithras Catalyst. Go check out his channel, because he's, uh, he's got some good stuff over there. And he's the, he's the procurer of maps for console. He's the only reason any FDR map ever got to console. Any of them, ever because of that guy so remember that go check out his channel check out his stuff if you're not subscribed be subscribed that's what i'm saying you know you know what i'm saying and pretty soon we're gonna have some collaboration stuff coming out me and him so i'm not gonna give you any details on that because i want it to be kind of a surprise it's like a little little surprise not a big surprise but just a wee little one what i'm gonna do before i go i'm just gonna bag up this back trailer again one more time some stuff and then probably in the next episode we're, we're going to start expanding that road some more I think and see how far we can get oh, let's just shut you off you don't need to be on for this oh I just went to take a screenshot I was like oh man take a screenshot look at that it's a good shot and then I'm like oh yeah we don't need to do that we don't need no screenshots okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to load this back trailer up again with this big bulky wood and right about there is a good spot it's funny I watch other people like loaderman guys in this game and everybody's got like their sweet spot that they like for loading it's pretty funny some people like to be like really close to the load some people like to be extremely far away some people have like kind of a medium ground me I will load anything with anything I really don't care but this is kind of my range right here this is a perfect range for me for loading Oh man, those are long sticks, hey? Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Look at that. Nice. Feels like I'm almost like I'm doing longs here. But this is a this is a comfortable range. I'm a little far from the pile, but not not far enough I can't get any out of it, so that's good. But yeah, this is a this is a pretty comforty range for me right here. Those wiggly little buggers. Wiggle wiggle wiggle. I don't like the way that side's settled. There we go. Beautiful. Now those other ones, I don't know what to do with those other ones. We might actually, we probably have enough room I can just lay them on top here. Maybe. Let's try to, let's try to build a cradle here while we do this just to finish things off. I want to build a little baby cradle right here. Well, we can't really build a cradle yet because we still have another grapple here. Another, what, one grapple? What do you think? You think we'll get it? One grapple? Oh, yeah, just one skid. Then we're on to the garbage wood. See, I noticed things are, like, shooting around a lot more. See that? Look at that. Did you see that? What the hell was that? That just started happening recently, and I don't know what's causing that. Like, whether it's an update or... If the logs are just on crack cocaine, or what's going on? Well, I mean, the logs have always been on crack cocaine, but... Eh. Eh. There we go. I'm kind of building a very half-arsed cradle here. I want this stick. Come, stick. Be my friend. There we go. I don't think that's going to stay there, but we can try. Ah, that's good enough. That'll be a good enough cradle. And we're going to grab... Well, I don't know if we can fit all of it. But you know we're going to try, so let's give her... Let's give it our all here. Let's grab all of this. There we go. So let's go this way. 
Oops, we're a little off our cradle spot there. We don't really need to cradle this wood, to be honest. It's actually really decent. But since we went through all that effort, we might as well take advantage of the drop. And I'm thinking butts to the back on this one. Or butts to the front. That's what I meant to say. So let's go butts up front. Should just lay kind of nicely in here. A little wiggly, but not so bad. And one more grapple, and then we're free to go. And that's it. That's all the stuff from our original skid, which is kind of cool. Got that all finally cleaned up. As long as it doesn't escape me, ya buggers. Don't you dare try to escape. Don't you do it! Alright, let's throw... Ah, we'll do the butts to the front. It's fine. We've got enough room in here. We can make it work. Uh, uh There we go. Oh. Oh my. Here we go. Okay, that's it. We did it. We should probably lock that load before we go, though. Because I don't have a lot of faith in this game's physics. I know, right? Where am I getting that from? <laughs> well, that's a nice little, little butt load there. Um, anyway, I'm going to cut it at this point. So if you guys like the video, leave a like, leave a comment. Do not forget to subscribe. And if you're in the bush, don't forget to hug a tree. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.